Hello, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel and the final part of our color along for January. So, I have been kind of bad. I have not finished my homework like I said I would. I did work on it, um, but you know, between work and still being sick and uh, a mess. So, we're just going to move on and pretend like it's done. Hopefully, you guys got your homework done, and if you didn't, it's fine. We'll live. So, today, I'm going to show you all of the colors. I've been super bad, too, because I didn't pick out the colors for polychromos. So, if you're using polychromos, just let me know down in the comments, and then I will give you the um, the alternatives. But here are what we are using for the Prismacolor. And we are going to start with the floor. And we are using PC1094, PC941, and PC948. So here's what we're using right there. So that's sandbar, brown, light umber, and sepia. <coughs> you have to excuse my coughs because they are still very existent. Okay. So the floor, I'm not going to do like um, each little thing. I'm actually just going to lightly go over it with this sandbar brown. Just like that. Here we go. Then I'm going to come in with um, <clears throat> the light umber. And I'm actually going to come out this way from underneath the tub. Mizu, knock it off. She has been behaving like a little spoiled brat today. So now that I've started up my, my video and I started talking to you guys, now she is whining for my attention that she just didn't have for the past like six hours. Okay, so I'm going to leave like the middle of the floor kind of bright because there is a little bit of light in this bathroom. Then we're going to come in with the final color, which is sepia, and just kind of give it a little bit of shadow in places where it needs to be, where I think it needs to be, anyway. Who knows if these shadows really are where they're supposed to be. Okay. Just kind of darkening it up in areas. A little bit underneath these towels. Just going over it one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to go backwards. So back to the light umber. I'm just going to bring it out a bit. Just a bit, just to blend in. And then, sandbar brown to go over the floor once more. Okay, I actually think I want to add a little bit of white. Um, you don't have to do this part. I am because I do want the floor to kind of blend all together. I didn't want it to look patchy. So I'm just going over the whole thing with white like so. So it doesn't look like it's just kind of patched together. Okay, I'll leave the white out because I might need it. Now, 
And the next thing we are going to work on are the glass, um, the little glass bottles. And then these bottles will also be the same color. So we have, let me just get these colors right for you guys. PC 1024, PC 1079, and PC 1025. And that's Blue Slate, Blue Violet Lake, and Periwinkle. So, I'm just going to go over the whole bottles. And then these glass ones, the candles are lit. So, I'm just going to do a layer of this light. Um, what color is this? Blue slate. I'm actually not going to add the other two colors because these candles are on or lit rather. So it will just be this this blue slate on on these bottles here, and then down here, just going over it with the blue slate, and then same thing with these up here. I am just going to add a little bit on the outside, and then the rest of it will be from the candle and then you can use the same colors that you use for the glow for the candle so I'm just doing a little bit okay so for the bottles I'm gonna actually come in with the other color so blue violet lake and it's kind of like a glow near the bottom so I'm just gonna kind of make it a little darker at the top and then leave kind of a little bit for the glow or the lighter color anyway near the bottom <coughs> excuse me this one doesn't have um, any kind of glow to it so I'm just gonna come from the sides and I'm going to leave the middle um, light. And then with this one, I'm just going to come from one side since it's kind of turned. And then coming in with the last color, which is Periwinkle. And we're just going to, this is the darkest color, so we're just going to darken this up. I hope you guys had a good week. It is, ooh, what is today? Saturday. Um, I thought it was Friday, but no, yesterday was Friday. Um, threw myself off. I didn't go to work yesterday. My, my pressure was up a bit, so I stayed home. And it just kind of threw everything off a little bit. All right, so we're going to go backwards. So now we're coming in with the blue violet lake again and just kind of bringing it out from that. Um, what color was that? Periwinkle. Same thing with these here, bringing it down just a bit. And then we'll add some, um, a little bit of that glow. To, to, to these bottles but these candles you don't really need to I mean if you want to add just a little bit you can just to bring the color out but you don't really need to I think I'm gonna just you know pretty much leave that alone and then I'm gonna come back with the blue slate and just leave a little bit of room for the um, glow that we're gonna add onto the bottom of these bottles from these lights and then with these bottles you don't need it so you can just kind of go over the whole bottle I was trying to keep the colors kind of um, like dark-ish because the room I want it to be 
you know, dark and cozy. So that's kind of what I was going for with these colors. Okay, next we are going to work on the tub and the radio, which will be the same colors. So we have 30% French gray, uh, 50% French gray, and 70% French gray. And that's 1070, 1072, and 1074. So just base the whole tub in the gray. Well, they're all gray. In the in the 30% gray. Um, just go over the whole thing. Very light. I usually just use light pressure. Um, and I've noticed with the Prismacolor, once I have my colors where I need to be, or where they need to be, I can just um, go in with, a, with medium pressure and blend it all together. I never really need to use hard pressure when I'm coloring. So I just go light pressure, medium if I really need to, but I want to make sure my colors are in place before I start um, going in with any kind of hard pressure. Okay, 50% French gray is next. And with this, you got to be careful because these candles are sitting right next to the tub. So I'm leaving a little bit around for these um these candles here i'm gonna put a little bit here because these towels are right here i'm gonna come down here and come up just a little bit somewhere in there and then underneath here underneath here and I kind of want all of this because the plant and everything is right there. So all of this will be a little dark. Remember, the room is kind of dark. So normally where we would have nice bright highlights, it's going to be more shadow in this one. Because we have the room, it's kind of dim. So... And then I'm going to put a little bit on the little leg here. So the only real part of this tub that's um, kind of bright is near these candles. Everything else will be pretty dark. And then the radio, you know, the light is coming from the bottom. So the shadow is going to be up here. And then I'll bring it down just a little bit. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. Now we're coming in with the 70%. And we don't want, like, underneath these, we have to be careful because, again, these candles are right here. So we don't want too much underneath here. Just enough. But once you start getting over here to this side, away from the candles, you can kind of add a little bit more because it is getting darker. Because there is no light really down here. So you can add a little bit more. It won't hurt it. Same thing with over here, especially because this plant is right here kind of blocking it. Not blocking it, but you know, the plant is in front of the tub. So I like to think it's casting a lot of shadow. And then we'll put a little bit here. Underneath. Down here. And on the side here. Cool. Now we'll just work our way backwards. Oh, we forgot the radio. Let's do the radio so it's not, we're not going back and forth for no reason. Okay. So we're just going to bring it down just a little. There we 
go. Now we're coming back in with the 50%. And then we're just gonna blend all of this together because there isn't really any light on this side. So for those of you who are following along, um, if you're not part of the Facebook channel, or not channel, group, uh, follow me on Instagram and then just tag me in um, your finish page if you don't mind sharing it i do want to see you know if you guys are following along to my color alongs i mean they're not they're they're my version of tutorials so i guess they're tutorials in a way um i i, I would like to see like the finished product of what you guys are doing so there's ways you can show me. You can show me on Instagram. I am on there. That's always in the link in, in the description. You can show me on the Facebook page as well. If you aren't on in the Facebook group, but you have a Facebook, you can show me there. So, um, yeah, don't be scared to show me. I do want to see. Okay, I promise I won't say anything mean because I think, and, and it might sound weird, but I think everybody's picture is unique and very beautiful in some way. And Lord in heaven knows I don't, I'm not perfect with my coloring. So there's that. Okay, window. We're going to do this window finally. Here are the colors. We have denim blue, and my denim blue looks like it's been chewed by a wood chipper, but that's PC1101. Indigo blue, which is PC901, and 90% cool gray, which we may or may not need, um, 1067. So, we are just going to base... Each and every last one of these little panels and I'm trying not to um, go over that I think I want that in gold so there are bits and pieces that I'm going to add gold to and I will show you guys what will be gold and what will or what will have some kind of metallic things going for it all right now we are going to come in with the indigo blue and we're gonna come from the outside in inward and we're gonna fade as we get towards the inside hopefully you guys can see what's going on I'm just gonna fade it out There we go. And we're gonna do each one like this. So um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I don't edit um, my color alongs. So I usually, if it's a very detailed page and there's a lot of repeat elements like these leaves, um, I'll show you how to do a few and then the rest you will do on your own as homework as I like to call it um, and then the following week we will do the same thing we will do a different element and I will show you how to do it if there's a bunch and then the rest you will do as homework just for those who are new and aren't sure how the color longs on my channel work it's a little different than um, the other color alongs on YouTube. I try to be, you know, my own person. I try not to, well, not say I, I don't try not to, but I don't usually follow like 
the trend of everybody else. Um, I just do it my way and what works for me. And I find that, number one, I'm not very good at editing. And I think it's better to have you kind of have something to do during the week while you wait for the next part of the color along. You have something to do while you're waiting. Um, it, next color is 90% cool gray. So we are going to use just a little bit, just around the edge here, just to darken it, make it dark, dark, but just a little. Don't go crazy with this one. Um, so yeah, so, and then that way, um, the next week or weekend, because I try to post them every Friday. Um, so the next, I mean, not Friday, Saturday. So the next weekend, um, usually my homework is done, but I have been sick since December. And I have been struggling keeping up with uh, my homework. But usually my homework is done and ready to go by the next video. We're going to indigo blue here. Um, I don't do like music with my color alongs. I talk through all of them. I don't time lapse or you know speed anything up because i feel like you don't really learn anything when it's you know going a million miles a minute so that is how i do them on my channel and and sometimes i don't like i'll i'll tell you what i'm doing but i don't you know throughout the whole video i'm not telling you how to color sometimes i i veer off and it kind of turns into a um a color in chat as well as a color along so you get kind of a mix of everything on my channel so now I'm just gonna blend all this in together now if you want like a moon glow you can leave it like that but I want mine pretty dark because I, I like to think that it's like nighttime and it's late and they're finally cozying up and getting ready to relax somewhere with a book so Gonna blend these all together and I also provide sometimes I will provide um, alternate color schemes so like if you might not want to do it the way I'm doing it I'll provide like some extra things or I'll tell you like okay you know you can do it this color if you like you don't have to do it the exact same way I'm doing it uh, where's my little brush thing uh-oh. I don't like to take my hand and do this with my Prismacolors because it'll smear the page and I will rage quit the whole color along. But I don't know where I put my little brush. I don't think I took it to work with me. So, um, where, where is it? It's around... I just don't know exactly where. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. Got it. Especially with this blue. I don't want to send it flying across the page with my hand. So, <laughs> I have had really bad experiences with um, Prismacolor and their, um, their pencils and smearing. So, with that being said, I would I got that little brush thing and it kind of helps. So yeah, so I'll just blend these in or if you want that moon glow, you could have left it the way I um it was before I start blending it in. This time I don't want a moon glow. Okay. So that's our window. Now I need to grab the colors for um, this basket here. Also, this pot 
you're going to use the same colors as this pot and these leaves you're going to use the same colors as those leaves so that is why it is not colored in yet and we will not be coloring them in you will so <coughs> the next um we need pc945 where is that it's right here and we need 1082 um, where is that what color is that okay got it and then we need um nine four six Ooh, what color is nine four six ah okay so <clears throat> we have dark brown chocolate and sienna brown and that will be for this basket and these bookshelves so um, let me sharpen. I'm also scared to sharpen my Prisma colors too because all they do is break. <laughs> so hopefully as I say that, I think I just broke it or it's just really off-centered. I'm praying it's off-centered. It's, it's looking a little, um, it's looking a little weird. It's probably broken. But we'll find out. Okay. I'm scared for it. It's cricket. Is it off-centered? It's not. Not really. Okay. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay. All right. So, we are going to base everything in Sienna Brown, including these bookshelves. Now... I'm thinking of doing my window gold, but if you want, you can actually do um, your window if you want it to be like a wooden, um, you know, base. You can do it the colors that we are doing, uh, we're, do we're using now, if that's something you are thinking about doing. Okay. Next, we are coming in with chocolate. And for the bookshelves, I'm going to just add a little bit of this underneath these bottles. Even though that doesn't make too much sense because the light is right there. But that is the only thing I can think of where to put it. And then for this, we're going to come up because these candles are here. Right, okay. Next, we're moving into the dark brown. And, okay, come on dark brown. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely broken, but I'm just gonna be really careful. And then we're just gonna um, come upwards. I'll just sharpen it once I am done. And then we're gonna go backwards. So back into the chocolate and just come from the dark brown a little bit and blend it out. And then a little bit over here. And then back into the sienna brown. And then you can just kind of go over this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm thinking about, once I get better, um, doing like a regular gaming stream. So I'm going to get, um, right. well, I can only stream the ones on my PC right now because I don't have the right equipment for um, to stream my Switch. But... Um, for now, I, I'm thinking of streaming um, some of the video games I play on probably Sunday. It'll be like a relaxing Sunday type thing, but 
that's once I get better and I'm not coughing up my entire soul. Moving on. Um, the towels, we are going to use some of the colors that we used in the pot. So we're going to use PC1092 and PC1031. Um, that's nectar and henna. And so I'm just going to base it with nectar. Now, if you don't want to do it in the same color, um, then go ahead and use whichever color you seem to like best for your towels. I just want to keep everything kind of cohesive. So that's what I went with. And for these roll towels here, I'm just gonna add some shadow off here back to the side and then kind of some here and probably some here. And then for this one, um, there's some, like I wanna add like some kind of in the crease I have to think of what to call it but I'm gonna put some in the crease and I'm not gonna worry too much about the lights reflecting because I like to think these bubbles are kind of covering it a little bit so I'm just gonna bring definitely put some underneath there because this one is overlapping a little bit in this crease and a little bit in this crease just hit the creases Nothing fancy, and then just go over it again with your nectar. Nothing too crazy. Same thing with this one. And blend it out. Yeah, those are some pretty towels, I think. Also, for these, um, the spout here, you can, I was thinking gold. I wanted to add a lot of gold, but if you don't want to do gold, you can do it the same color as the tub, but I was thinking gold. So that's why we haven't gotten to that yet. Okay, so now I need to grab um, PC1033, which is going to be my um, kind of glowish color. For some of this stuff and then I'm gonna add some um, what do you call it uh, PC 1002 if I can find it here it is okay and then for the bubbles they're gonna be purple bubbles so we're gonna grab PC 1008 um, PC 932 and PC 931 and, and pray that this works out right. If I can find, and I don't have, like, I don't know the personal color, um, colors like my poly, so sometimes it takes me a minute to find them. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this yellowed orange in these glow areas. So anywhere, like this basket, anywhere the light hits, that's where we're gonna put it. And we're just gonna mix it right on in with that brown same thing with this tub we're gonna lightly put it there because it's coming from these candles we're gonna throw some in here in the middle of these candles to make it look like you know they're clear i mean they are you know boom just like that you probably it probably looks a little different on the camera but basically i just added the glow from those and then at the top of these bubbles I'm going to add a layer of this orange as well and at the bottom don't forget our bottles got to add some here from the light and then also our radio just a bit because everything's glowing off of it Okay, now, if you want to make it a little bit darker, you can throw some mineral orange in there and just kind of like 
hit up not too crazy but just some of those areas if you want to make it like you can even make like the candle dark like that <coughs> but for the bubbles we are going to use parma violet violet and dark purple so we're gonna go in with this one here and we're gonna do it lightly. Just go over the whole thing. All the bubbles. And don't forget, we have bubbles down here. So don't forget those. And next we are going to come in with violet and I'm just I'm just gonna sharpen it first is what I'm gonna do um, I'm just going to come from the bottom and, and work my way up these are bubbles so they won't be too dark I'm just adding a little bit of shadow here and there don't forget about the ones back here too, just a little bit. So I was thinking of doing a coloring class, uh, like a color coloring Zoom class where you guys can ask me any coloring related questions and we we pick a book and a page every week and we work on that page we work on different techniques and i show you guys how i would color it different ways you can color it so on and so forth and i'm thinking i don't have like you know, don't ask me about prices or anything yet because I don't know. It may be free. Uh, or I may do like, you know, the first, the first couple, the first month free or something like that. But like, you know, it'll just be like a Zoom thing. Uh, we all just meet and we work on the page and I answer your questions to the best of my ability. And, you know, we all just chill and hang out and... Um, I was thinking of doing it like a Zoom class. That way you don't have to um, travel all the way to Vegas, you know. And I don't know, it just kind of seemed like a fun idea. I, I'm coming back in with this orange just to blend it in for this light. Blend it together with this purple. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, if you guys think that would be a cool idea let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in something like that uh you know i was thinking like and and if you're a beginner that's fine um because i was also thinking of like having beginner classes where we do things with like beginner materials like crayola and you know mandala books and things like that but we'll see not sure yet so those are bubbles in the tub now the bubbles down here you can just add a little bit of shadow here and there but there is no like light or anything so you can keep them you know with this um with this light this parma violet you can just kind of go in and keep them that color if you like and if this is too dark, then you can actually go in with a different, a lighter purple. We have lighter purples. Um, we got that lavender, um, that gray lavender, lilac. Um, I'm okay with this color, though. It kind of matches the flowers. And then, if you really want, you can come in with white and lighten it up a little bit, too, like this. And just kind of... Blend it together with that orange too. And you can even come in down here with this one at the bottom. It's up to you. Now, 
with these lights up here. Same thing, I'm thinking of just adding just a little bit of this, this glow mixed in with that blue. And then I'm gonna take that orangish looking one and I'm gonna put it, the orangish looking one. This is mineral orange, guys. And then just put it inside for the candle. All right, so as for the gold, I actually use um, this Uniball Signal. That's what I use for my gold. So I'm thinking I really want the, the faucet to be gold. So I'm going to add some gold to my faucet. And then also my window I want. This is actually the door as well. I think every page has like a door and a key or like most of the pages. I don't know about all of them, but... They have like a door and a key that you can find. So this, the window here is actually the door for, for this page that you're supposed to find. Cause there's a little key lock that I kind of covered up a little bit, but that's okay. So you don't have to do a gold, but I, I kind of, I want more gold in mine. And then I'm also going to add, um, move this so I can actually move the book so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The key is there, so I'm, I'm, I want the key gold as well. And I want the tops of these lanterns gold. So we're going to do that. Now, of course, you don't have to extra add extra gold to your page if you don't want to. There we go. And I kind of want um, the label on some of these bottles gold, too. That would be cute. So we'll just, like... Do some of the labels here. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I was thinking for these bubbles, but now that I'm looking at it, I might not do it. I was gonna add like probably some kind of shimmer over the top of them, but I think I'll pass on that. So, <coughs> oh, and the stars. I was going to do them silver, but I think I'm going to do them gold as well. Because all the gold on this page, I think that would be really cute. So I'm just going to add some gold stars. Well, not add. The stars are already there. I'm just coloring them in. Okay. Now we have some like floating bubbles here. If you want, you can color them in. I think I'm going to, because they're like bubbles from the bath. So I think I'm actually going to color them in with grade lavender. Just so they're light. And purple is my favorite color. So I actually really like this page. And as for these, um, there's some little ones at the bottom. As for these, what do you call them? These, the stems. I'm probably gonna take a, a fine liner to those. But if you want to use your prism colors, go ahead <coughs> and use um, sap green light. I'll show you really quick. Let me sharpen it up and just. Cause I, I like to think they're roughly around the same color as these leaves. 
So you can use sap green light to color those in. I guess I'm using sap green light because some of these are like really thin though. You have to like really, really, really get in there. Or you can use a fine liner and not stress yourself out trying to wonder if you're gonna color outside the lines like I would, but it's not too bad. Um, I guess just sharpen your pencil before you do this. I mean, I sharpened it, so it's not too bad. You can do it that way. All right. <laughs> so that's it, guys. The only thing left, um, I need to finish my homework. And I need to make the mini version of this thing here. So this is what we have. There's all our gold sparkle, sparkle. And some gold sparkle sparkle at the top and that concludes our color along for January so I want to thank you guys for coloring along with me if you are coloring along I want to thank you for watching even if you aren't coloring along and I really hope you guys enjoyed this one I had fun I think my favorite part was adding the gold to the pot and probably the bath bubbles were my favorite part and i love how the leaves turned out too so this was a fun page for me um even though i was using prisma colors which are not my favorite brand as you guys know but it was still a really fun page for me so if you guys enjoyed it as well go ahead and hit the like button let me know down below if you enjoyed it if you had fun you know i always like your comments i try to respond to everyone um i hope that you guys will enjoy next month's color along i haven't picked it out yet um i will probably do what i normally do uh next week i'll post um the books and then you guys will choose the book and then um i will post the page you guys will choose the page and we'll go from there but i will see you guys next week and next week will probably either just be a color and chat or a live stream because it won't quite be February yet. Or I might start um, something different. We'll see. I might do something because we have a week before February. So um, February is color along since February is short. It probably won't be like a huge full on detail page. Um, we'll see. But I will see you guys next week regardless of what the video is. And thank you for watching. Bye now.